Hello, this is Stacey Roshan, Director of Innovation and Educational Technology at Bullis School and also author of Tech with Heart. There are going to be a variety of challenges as schools reopen from attention we will need to put into social emotional well-being and mental health to curricular gaps to inequities that have been exasperated by remote learning. I'll focus on a more educational technology theme for my answer and that is the challenge for both teachers and administrators to examine what went right during remote learning, to redesign lessons, to incorporate those ideas into the face-to-face -face classroom. Teachers have onboarded so many different tools in the past 12 months out of a real need, and there are tools that we should keep, but there's others that we should discard. And I hope that we're going to think really critically about why we are using Using these tools and what goals they are helping us achieve. Because to move forward, I think we need to take a step back first and engage in a very reflective process. When we are able to do this and think deeply about the primary goals we are trying to achieve, we will be able to thoughtfully leverage technology into the redesign of our lessons. And that is when transformation will really happen. Many teachers have created asynchronous lessons in these past 12 months. And I think we have a big opportunity here to make our classrooms much more student-centered and differentiated when students come back on campus, and I hope that we will really think carefully about the potential here. Digital inking has changed my classroom in so many ways. It has opened up the possibility first to create instructional videos for my math class. I began flipping my math classroom in 2010 and all of my screencasts are whiteboard style videos where I'm writing on the screen to solve problems and teach new concepts to my students. I then began teaching a purely online class several years ago, and I used digital inking for everything from creating lesson plans and answer keys for my students to annotating and giving feedback on student work to teaching a class over Zoom. At this point, I'm honestly not sure how I would go back to a world without digital inking. I even use digital inking for my own personal note taking and for daily planning. And not only does this make things paperless so that I'm able to access my notes anywhere and everywhere, but it also makes my notes searchable through the power of OCR. And that is a really fantastic bonus. One of the biggest things for me in using my Wacom tablet most effectively has just been finding the right applications to pair it with. What's difficult is that what works for me might be different than what works for you. There's so many different applications out there. A lot of it comes down to your style and personal preference and also what device you're using. For example, one of my favorite apps is Notability. I personally have a Mac and I have an iPhone and Notability is compatible with both of them, so it works perfectly for me. I like taking notes in Notability because it feels like a digital notebook and it supports ink to text and it also has that search functionality that I was talking about which is really powerful and that's what I'm looking for in an application. Another application that I love in the classroom is Pear Deck since I use Google Everything in my teaching. I am able to create warm-up activities in Google Slides for my students and then add interactivity through the Pear Deck and both students and myself are able to draw on the slides and it works perfectly. So I think that's a big thing is finding the tools that best fit your classroom and your needs. I'm extremely lucky in that I have a class set of Wacom tablets for all my students. So I've been able to experience the transformation that happens when we put a Wacom device in the hands of each and every student. Pear Deck has been my application of choice to pair up with the Wacom tablet for my students. This is how I engage all of my learners in discussion at the start of class. So each student will log into Pear Deck from their own device and most of my questions are just the drawing type so that students 
students can draw with their Wacom tablet anywhere on the slide. And since I'm a math teacher, I usually just ask a question and then students write out their response. From my teacher dashboard in Pear Deck, I can see what students are drawing in real time through the Pear Deck teacher dashboard. And this way I can give feedback on the spot and get an instant sense of what the full class needs and what individuals need. What's more, I can shine the spotlight on what everyone in the room is saying by displaying that work on the projector since, again, I have that view of all student work coming in as they are writing. When I project this work, that's when students can talk about the various answers that they see up there. Maybe they'll be talking about their own work or that of a classmate. And we can talk through how our approaches are the same or maybe different. We can celebrate multiple approaches to a problem in this way, and we have the opportunity to really let all voices and all answers be spotlighted.